The Xbox Partner Preview returned yesterday and brought us players some incredible world premieres, some surprise releases, new gameplay from some incredible partners including both Remedy, Sega and some of the world's most exciting indie developers. Xbox gave us a look at 15 brand new games with titles announced for the Xbox Series consoles, Windows PC and also Xbox Game Pass. Today we're going to cover all of these games that were announced and there's a lot to get excited about. My name is Fletcher, this is Xbox Nation. Subscribe for more Xbox content every single day and let's dive right in. Let's start out with the Alan Wake 2 The Lake House expansion. Remedy Entertainment gave us a first look at gameplay for this second expansion and is looking even more intense than the base game. The Lake House itself is a creepy mysterious facility tied to an overlap between dimensions and you'll be stepping into the shoes of an agent from the Federal Bureau of Control as you investigate its secrets. What's really exciting here though is how Remedy continues to weave together its different games into one larger Remedy connected universe. The lore actually ties back to Control and Alan Wake in a way that fans will really love, with hints at strange supernatural tech and multi-dimensional threats. You will be dealing of course with reality warping forces and a living painting that births horrors into a world, a concept that feels like classic Alan Wake and Control rolled into one. Mark your calendars for this one because the doors to the lake house will open on the 22nd of October, exclusively to the Xbox Series X and S consoles. Next up is Animal Well, a stunning 2D platformer that blends both exploration and puzzle solving into one gorgeous package. This game has actually been turning heads since its release thanks to its lush pixel art and deep mysterious world. Imagine a game sort of with that mix of Metroidvania style gameplay and something more abstract like Fez or Inside. Every single corner in this world is packed with tons of secrets and many of the puzzles require you to think outside the box. It often requires as well multiple playthroughs to fully understand so it's well worth diving into if you love that sort of game. What's really cool though is that Animal Well doesn't rely on combat, instead it focuses on discovery and using the environment to your advantage. You can of course interact with different creatures, manipulate objects and even unlock new abilities as you progress. The lighting effects here are especially gorgeous, creating a hauntingly beautiful atmosphere that keeps players curious. The best part though, this is now available on Xbox right now, so if you're looking for something new then definitely go check it out. Blindfire is a very unique concept and takes the idea of a first person shooter and really flips on its head quite literally, because the entire game is actually played in pitch black arenas. Instead of relying on your typical FPS skills in games like Call of Duty, Blindfire forces you to use your other senses. The concept is pretty simple here, you're in complete darkness hunting enemies using traps, echolocation and sound cues. Every single footstep and every gunshot reveals a bit of the world around you. This makes Blindfire more about strategic listening than shooting as you'll need to carefully plan your attacks and movements just to survive. You can of course set up traps for enemies or use sound grenades to trick them into revealing their positions. It really adds a new layer of tension because you can't just spray and pray, you've actually got to be pretty methodical. The game was shadow dropped during the partner preview so you can try it out today via the game preview program. From Blooper Team, the creators of the medium and the recently released Silent Hill 2 remake comes Kronos The New Dawn and it's giving off some seriously creepy vibes. This third person survival horror game spans two distinct timelines, 1980s communist Poland and a futuristic wasteland after a devastating pandemic known as The Change. What really looks to set this game apart though is how it blends the two timelines seamlessly letting you play through both eras as you unravel a mystery that connects them. The trailer hinted at obviously deep psychological themes with one part showing a chess game that morphs into a nightmarish sequence. Kronos also teases more action this time around than their usual games with players battling grotesque creatures born from the pandemic's effects. Fans of Blooper Team's brand of psychological horror can expect a chilling atmosphere and intense story driven gameplay. It is currently scheduled for release in 2025 and personally I cannot wait to see more. For all of the anime fans amongst us, get ready because Eden Zero is coming to Xbox in 2025. This is based on the popular manga and anime series by Hiro Mashima, the creator of Fairy Tail, and this action adventure game takes place in a vibrant sci-fi universe full of space battles, powerful characters and epic quests. You will play as Shiki Granbell, a boy with gravity controlling powers as you explore the cosmos on a quest to find Mother, who is a legendary cosmic entity. The game looks to feature of course that fast paced third person combat where you'll be battling enemies with both close range attacks and some pretty cool flashy moves. 
Not only does Eden Zero have an expansive space to explore, the players will also get to command spaceships in galactic battles, making it a mix of RPG style ground combat and space exploration. You can expect to meet a variety of characters of course from the anime and unlock special team abilities as you progress through the story. For fans of this series, this game is really shaping up to be an awesome extension of the Eden Zero universe. This next game I'm pretty excited for, and Eternal Strand is shaping up to be a truly innovative action RPG survival experience. Developed by a team with experience on Red Dead Redemption 2, Dragon Age and Assassin's Creed and other massive RPG franchises, this game blends classic fantasy elements with a unique spellcasting system. You will be able to combine spells to create effects tailored to specific situations. So for example, you might be able to freeze a dragon's wing mid flight, causing it to plummet from the sky. That's just one of the many ways you can get creative in combat and the world is sprawling, packed with titanic climbable bosses, reminiscent of games like Shadow of Colossus. And of course, it is also filled with tons of hidden dungeons and loot. On top of that, there seems to be a pretty robust crafting system where you are able to customise your gear, mixing and matching materials to create weapons and special properties. What makes this game even more exciting though is it is coming to Game Pass day one, so you'll be able to dive into this magical and dangerous world in early 2025. Remedy Entertainment also showed off their second game and they're back, but this time they're shaking things up with a multiplayer game. FPC Firebreak is a co-op first-person shooter and it's a PvE game set in the Control universe. In this game you will team up with friends as agents of the Federal Bureau of Control and take on paranormal threats within the bizarre ever-shifting environments of the oldest house. Of course you will be using a mix of powerful weaponry and strange abilities and you'll be fighting off horrors from other dimensions while solving puzzles and completing missions. The trailer actually showed off the surreal design we know from Control like twisting hallways and moving architecture, but this time with the added chaos of multiplayer co-op where strategy and teamwork are really key. The game is set for release sometime in 2025 and a big benefit is that it will be available day one on Xbox Game Pass. It's the perfect game for fans of Control who especially want to bring their friends along for this wild ride. For those of you who are looking for a more charming adventure but with a lot of heart, The Legend of Baboo looks like it's going to deliver. The game features Sefa, a child hero who will embark on a magical journey across a vast island. But what really steals the show here is Sefa's trusty companion Baboo, who is an adorable dog who not only fights alongside you but also acts as your mount. The game will of course combine that action adventure mechanics with puzzle solving and exploration, all wrapped in a beautifully hand painted art style. Players can also expect some pretty deep emotional storytelling, a deep world building and clever emotional puzzles making it more than just your standard platformer. You'll of course form a strong bond with Baboo as the game goes on, unlocking new skills as you progress through the adventure together. We don't have a release date for this one as of yet, but it is definitely one to keep your eye on. Like a Dragon Pirate Yakuza in Hawaii is one of the most unexpected yet totally awesome games we've ever seen. Ryu Studio has taken the over the top Yakuza formula and set it now on the high seas. This time you're controlling the fan favourite ex Yakuza Goro Majima who's now somehow wrapped up in a pirate adventure in Hawaii. The game actually mixes that classic Yakuza signature combat brawling but now with naval combat where you'll have to steer ships through pirate infested waters, board enemy vessels for all out battles and engaging sword fights with rival captains. If you've loved the absurdity and action of the previous Like a Dragon titles, you're going to feel right at home with this game. It is currently set to launch sometime in 2025 and it promises all the crazy action and outlandish humour you'd expect from this series. Before we dive into the remaining games, I have an incredible announcement for you, especially for October. I have partnered with Xbox and we are providing a 5% discount over on my website for all Xbox games, pre-orders, gift cards and Game Pass subscriptions. You can get money off some upcoming games like Dragon Age The Veil Guard and the recently released Space Marine 2. You can also be saving money on your Game Pass subscription to save you that little bit of extra pennies every single month. Use code XBOXNATION at checkout and it really does help support the channel by giving me a small kickback. With that out of the way, thank you for the support and let's dive back into the remaining announcements. Now, Mistfall Hunter is an intense blend of Souls-like combat and extraction style gameplay where you not only need to survive that sort of tough punishing enemies you come to expect in a Souls-like game but also escape with some pretty valuable loot. It is set in a dark fantasy world and you can choose different character classes with customizable builds, ranging from armor clad warriors to stealthy assassins and powerful spellcasters. The enemies here are unforgiving and mastering the game's dodge, parry and attack mechanics will be key to your survival. What makes the extraction twist very interesting though is that if you fail to escape you'll lose all the loot that you've gathered. 
but if you make it out alive, of course you'll be rewarded with powerful upgrades and rare items. The game is still currently in its beta phase at the moment, so if you're into that high risk, high reward gameplay, you can sign up for that beta right now. Have you ever wondered what it'd be like to mix Cuphead's 1930s cartoon aesthetic but with a Wolfenstein style FPS? Well, enter Mouse PI for Hire. You will play as a gun-toting mouse detective in a world full of anthropomorphic animals, solving crimes and blasting your way through enemies. The game's visual art style here is one of the most unique I've ever seen, with an interactive Saturday morning cartoon with smooth hand-drawn animation that feels nostalgic yet incredibly fresh. You'll be solving tons of mysteries in a crime-ridden city where each level has unique challenges and bad guys for you to defeat, all while switching between firearms, melee combat and puzzle solving. To be honest, this is one of the most unique indie games coming to Xbox and it's set for release in 2025. If you're a fan of animation or classic shooters, then this one will be worth the wait. The hit horror game Phasmophobia is finally making its way to Xbox consoles just in time for Halloween. On the 29th of October, Xbox players will be able to join the ghost hunting action where you and up to three friends can investigate haunted houses, abandoned schools and other terrifying locations. What really makes Phasmophobia stand out from the crowd though is this dynamic ghost AI that reacts to your voice and your actions. You'll use tools like the classic spirit boxes, EMF readers and UV lights to gather evidence and figure out what type of ghost you're dealing with, all whilst trying to stay alive. The game's unique voice recognition feature also adds that extra layer of immersion since the ghost can actually hear you talking in-game, which actually makes staying silent a terrifying necessity. If you're a fan of corp horror, definitely don't miss this one and it's the perfect game for a Halloween scare night with your friends. Get ready now to dive back into the alien ocean because Subnautica 2 is officially happening. The sequel builds on the underwater exploration and survival mechanics of the original games, but this time you won't have to go at it alone. The big addition to this new game is the core gameplay, so you can now explore the deep with your friends as you craft submarines, discover alien sea life and uncover mysteries hidden beneath the ocean's surface. With more biomes to be expected, new creatures both terrifying and also friendly, and enhanced building mechanics, Subnautica 2 is really shaping up to be bigger and more complex underwater adventure than we've ever seen before. It is launching onto the Xbox Game Preview program in 2025 and also as part of Xbox Game Pass, so definitely get your wetsuits ready. If you're more into chill exploration games, Wii World is definitely one for you to watch. In this biking adventure game, you'll ride through serene and vibrant open world environments with an emphasis on exploration and discovery. Visually, it really reminds me of Dungeons of Hinterburg, which came out recently, so if you love that art style, you're going to fall in love with this game. Originally, it was known as Ghost Bike, and the game lets you hop on different bikes with unique abilities, solve puzzles, and even compete in time trials or races if you're looking for a challenge. It's got that sort of zen-like vibe, but there's still plenty of do, like finding and restoring ancient ghost bikes or competing in leaderboard challenges. Wii World looks to sort of strike that perfect balance between relaxation and excitement, making it a great game to pick up when you need a break from more intense experiences. This game is expected to launch on Game Pass sometime in early 2025. Last but certainly not least, we got more of a look at Wu Chang Fallen Feathers, a gritty Souls-like action RPG set during the late Ming Dynasty. The game blends that brutal combat mechanics of a Souls-like with deep Chinese mythology, allowing players to fight both human enemies and terrifying monsters inspired by folklore. What really sets Wu Chang apart though is its rich setting and historical backdrop, as well as the eerie supernatural elements that are woven into its world. You can of course expect to face off against massive grotesque bosses, an environment that mixes both the beauty of ancient China with dark decaying landscapes. From the combat video that we actually saw, we saw glimpses of intense swordplay, a heavy emphasis on parrying and dodging, and some truly jaw-dropping set pieces from start to finish. It's one of the most anticipated games for me for 2025, and it's certainly one to keep on your radar if you're into tough skill-based RPGs with a unique cultural twist. So there you have it, that's the 15 exciting games that were announced at the Xbox Partner Preview events. Whether you're into the sort of ghost hunting, magical RPGs, or bizarre pirate adventures, there really was something for everyone. You'll have to let me know in the comments below what you would grade this Xbox Partner Preview event out of 10. Again, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like down below, and don't forget to subscribe for for more Xbox news, reviews and content every single day. Whilst here, why don't you check out our most recent video covering some amazing sales that are going on for this current week.